What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So I'm sure you guys already know who this gentleman is right here next to me. Emmanuel, E-Man, one of the top tier um, mechanics here on the Tension platform and on Honda in general. Uh, he's given me a really good opportunity to get a ride along in his car as well as a car review. So I'm gonna be getting behind the wheel in just a minute. He's just gonna be driving around for a bit. We're gonna be talking about his car uh, and everything that he's done to it. Cool. So, um, I guess uh, start out engine. Yeah, yeah pistons, rods. Um, it's a sleeved engine. Uh, currently, it's sleeved. It wasn't sleeved before. Uh, we recently did a bigger hot side because um, we were planning on running some nitrous, but now uh, power has come down a little bit. Not too much though. So uh, we're just waiting on getting some nitrous and uh, redynoing. Gotcha. So. Who did you say you were tuned by? Uh, Vit. Oh, okay. Yeah. You do e-tunes with him? No. <laughs> really? No, he just, he, he tunes this car. Oh, okay. Yeah, he doesn't tune anyone else though. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. So don't ask. <laughs> nope, not even gonna bother I'll with try that. It. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure a lot of people have been trying to reach out to him. Dude, that sounds nice already. Dude, I will say, because you have the Type R exhaust, you don't get any drone in here, obviously, and all you get is turbo sounds. Yeah, pretty much it's just the, uh, you get the turbo spool and everything, and, and then the whoosh, <laughs> the fucking block off. <laughs> the whoosh that everybody yeah. wants that doesn't understand about either. Jesus, dude. Yeah, there's uh, always a lot of discussions I see about it. I, I also don't recommend block valves for stock EC. Yeah. You know, ECU people, but uh, obviously I'm allowed to do it, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> It just sounds like a, like a jet turbine engine. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's slow as hell. Like, if anything below 6,000, it's super slow. It's slow. <laughs> it's slow. Yeah. I'm still getting used to it. How much did you say you were pushing before and after? After you upgraded so, the turbo or changed the turbo? I changed the turbine. Okay. So it's always been a 2867, but um, it made 490 to the wheels um, with the smaller hot side, and now it makes 460. 460. Yeah, 460. And you said, okay, so 30 that's less all, horsepower. Yeah, that's all on ethanol too. No math, no. no that matrix. was the next question because I know there's going to everybody's going to be asking, yeah. like, how, what it, what fuel is you running? You're saying you're running pure E85, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, well, whatever I can get at the pump is usually like 66 percent Gotcha. Almost 70%. Was that half throttle too? That was half throttle. <laughs> Just that sound. And that's the thing about the tension community is like, Honda finally came out with a turbo engine. Everyone was like, yeah. But then it was 1.5 liters and they were like, ah. Oh. And then they wanted turbo valves and they want the turbo sounds and then they want the whistle and they want all the good and good. He's like. Dude, I was the same way. When, like, when, when I had my agent, people were telling me to pick one of these up. I was just like, no, like, I'll just wait for the Type R, this engine's. Like, what am I gonna do with that? 1.5? Yeah. But at the time, the Type R's were just so ridiculous to get, and I decided just to pick one of these up. And I mean, after that, it's history. Just, this is what ended up happening. This is what you so, ended up doing. Yeah. And you, when did you actually pick this one up? What year? Uh, 2017. Okay. Just spinning on them. <laughs> yeah, I felt that. <laughs> Yeah, my stomach said the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it has, it has a rev match, too. Does it? Yeah. How'd you get rev match in there? Well, tech. What the fuck? <laughs> that's literally, as childish as it sounds, that's literally the only reason, I mean, I'm not going to do it, but that's probably the only reason why I would ever get an 11th gen, because of the stupid rev matching that I really want. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's not even a necessity. It's just a need that people want. I want one. But yeah. that's actually cool. You can get the Motec, but I'm pretty sure Motec's also expensive, right? I actually did a... Oh, it's... Yeah, it's it's expensive. Um, there's just so many, like, little things that you have to buy with it. So, yeah, it gets pricey. But it unlocks your car. Like, you're able to do... Anything. Sky's the limit. And it'll run properly. What's the highest um, 1.5 liter you've seen or that you've built? Um, Horsepower-wise. Oh, that I've built? Yeah. Um... Probably, uh, well, it'd probably be this one, actually. I mean, a lot of 
my customers, they do have MoTeC, but they're roughly, roughly either like this same setup with like a few less mods, or they don't want to push the car that hard. Because at the end of the day, it is, it is a 1.5. Like even like how this motor is built, I wouldn't expect it to go, you know, 20, 30,000 miles. And yeah. You know, be able to hold all this power you know, fine. You know? So, and, and, and I'm glad you bring that up because I get this question so many times. And how do you get this platform to 400 plus horsepower? Yeah, so with that, you are going to need stuff like additional fuel stuff. Like, you're going to need either probably the best way to do it would be with the upgraded DI stuff and vent. I don't recommend those injector drivers that you know people are talking about mm -hmm. with the additional uh, four port. At the end of the day, it's only a like it's like a two driver injector. It, it branches off the other two, so gotcha. you're, you're powering four injectors with, with you know a, a dual driver, and it's and it's reading off your map sensor. So really, <laughs> yeah, it's it's which if it's reading off the map sensor, it's just reading off of five volts <laughs> gotcha and you don't really get a lot of uh, resolution I guess you would say yeah and it's I w you wouldn't even say it's cheap either right to get everything into that pot to get everything into that that no, range it, it's all that stuff is money I mean there's there's guys with you know that have just meth and and like uh, the fuel system upgrade and you know the right turbo yeah and they're making well over 400 what turbo do you recommend for a daily driver uh, Probably the either the 2860 GTX or any of the drop-ins, um, like the RV6 one's good. Mm -hmm. uh, the 271 one is very good. We have a lot of success with that one. The um, W1 or the W2? Both. Both. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I know the W1 had a lot of uh, a lot of issues initially, but they've they've been super good about like covering all of them and you know fixing the issues. So. Gotcha. Oh, the way that sounds right there. Oh. I couldn't breathe. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Dude, the 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 only fast, the only fast car I've ever been in was a 350 wheel horsepower turbo Miata because of how light those little suckers are. Yeah. But this probably tops it right there easily. <laughs> oh my god, that was crazy. How much boost are you pushing right here? How much PSI? 38. 38? Yeah. Oh, it used to do 40. It's only doing 38 now. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that was. Yeah, that was good. That was good. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are like I'm shaking right now, man. I'm shaking. This is gonna be fun. There's there's been a lot of confusion with the whole knock control system, how it has to be at 0.49, can't go past 0.453. Um, it can put a gallon it, of the 85. It, it can. Like, I think just people are like too focused on the knock control. That all that all that's doing is it's just like. You know, it's just protection for your engine. Yeah. So when people get all stressed, oh my God, it's going, it's, it keeps going higher and higher. You either got a bad fuel or you got, you know, you got an issue. It's just pretty much telling you you have an issue with the car. So um, it's not really something to be like stressed about, you know, mm -hmm. like looking at it. Um, and it's always really going to happen, even if you have ethanol. If you push the car hard, it's it's going to pull after pull. Yeah. yeah, I got you. A lot of these questions, guys, yeah. you, guys, you guys are just asking over and over and over. So I'd rather you hear it from the man himself to get you straight to the point. All right. Vamos con Dios. <laughs> oh, my God. That's way up there. Yeah. The three's kind of low this, on the speedo. What shifter do you have? That's a 2020, 2020 Type R shifter. Okay. Yeah. Do this. Guys, I'm driving a jet. I'm driving a jet. Like, this is what it sounds like. I'm driving a jet. Holy shit. Oh, I really hope that sun's not giving you guys a glare. That's what I'm looking at right now because it's hitting the GoPro. Oh. 
Yeah, this is, you said it has rev match, right? It, so the rev match works when you're braking. Only when I'm braking? Yeah. Just hearing it is just, I can see why people love turbo cars in general. Like, this is just awesome. When does boost, when did you say boost kicks in? Like 64. 64? Yeah. How high does this, does this uh, uh, rev? 8,000. 8,000? Yeah. Well, oh, fuck my engine, dude. Oh my god. right there. <laughs> Probably try to do one in third. It'd be easier. Oh, it does rip after you hit the brakes. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, that's how I have it set up. I that's actually a good way to have it set yeah, up. That's not bad. I don't want it to be doing it all the time. Oh, my God. Oh! I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my God! That was a lot of wheel spin right there, too. Yeah, but the traction control should solve it. So you're going to feel a little left and right fight from the wheel. Yeah, just that hold, wasn't just, that bad either. Yeah, just hold on. It, it'll be fine. I got you. <laughs> I got you. Oh, my God, dude. That was awesome. Have you ever taken this to a circuit? No. Just a drag, right? Uh, yeah, just drag. Okay. Uh, maybe... Can you guys hear that? That's like 25% throttle, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I'm sorry, man. I'm geeking out. That's, this is awesome. You mind if I make a right right here? Uh, go for it. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, what the f I'm gonna have to bleep a lot of this out, but what the f This is a 1.5 liter? Matt, oh my god, I almost called you Manny. <laughs> Making me slur my words, man. This is an amazing thing you've done to this platform. You know, like, I, I'm, I'm sure you hear it a lot, man, but you're one of the few that actually just pushes this car to its potential, and it's, it's really good seeing people do that, you know? Yeah. And then hearing that you're planning on doing the, the FK8, the K20C, right? Mm -hmm. The K20C motor swap. I'm sure it's not going to be an easy thing to do, no, but it's not. I mean, like basically I don't want to, I don't want to ruin the car. Like I don't want to cut stuff. So like I want to leave the car full interior, like still, you know, you be able to drive it somewhere, not feel like it's, you know, rattling. <laughs> Dude, this doesn't feel that bad. Mind if I do another one? Go for it. I'll ever get tired of that. <laughs> My wife will probably will. I've gotten tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you let it sit there for eight months, you probably have. I'm, I'm so glad you gave me the opportunity to do this. But I will say again, 8,000 RPM? Mm -hmm. Jesus, dude. It, it has to be up there, dude. Otherwise, this turbo would never spawn. <laughs> <laughs> you said it kicks in at what, 6,000? Uh, like 63 or 64. Oh, God, dude. Uh, all right. Well, that's actually something interesting I learned. And the nice thing about your build right here is no one will know. You yeah. see it driving on the freeway, unless they specifically know who you are, mm -hmm. no one's going to know yeah. because you're not slammed. You don't have a loud exhaust. I mean, it was my turn, but okay. I have to ride away, homie. Lexus. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah, that... All right, I, I, I think I'm set. I think I'm good. I should probably pull over since this is your vehicle. And I think we're gonna call it right there. Like that's, and, and I'm gonna be honest to you and to the audience. Mm -hmm. I'm probably never gonna get my car to this level <laughs> only because I, I really like it for what it does as a daily. Yeah. And I don't wanna ruin anything else to make it, I don't wanna give it reasons to break. Mm -hmm. I'd rather just do a turbo, build the trans if i need to and just go from there i'm not even trying to push yeah i think that's where numbers i think that's where a lot of people kind of lose focus because they're all like oh i want to make 500 i want to make 500 well 
when it comes down to that, dude, my first reaction is, dude, you drive a Civic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to make more power, get another platform. This platform, and, and, and I'm going to say this, I'm going to start over. You can make any car as fast so long as you have the money. But are you really willing to spend thirty, forty thousand dollars on a Honda Civic that you're trying to beat a mm. Tune 5.0, you know, mm -hmm. or, or something in that catalog in, in, in the category? I don't know, man. It's just, I guess it's just the way you see it, the way the mindset you have in it. Like, I have fun the way my car is. I just want a little bit more, and I think I'm gonna be cool. And I'd rather just build something else on the side. Keep doing a little bit more. Eventually, you get to here. <laughs> That's usually it right there. It's a, it's a snowball effect. <laughs> yeah. Usually a snowball effect. You, you, you do a little bit more. You do a little bit more. Yep. You do seven days a week or you off specific days? Uh, Sundays, I don't work. I don't okay. work. I don't answer messages. Gotcha. No, I mean, <laughs> no, no, no. I, I get it. No, you no. It's you, funny, ha you have to, dude. Like It's funny, too, because most of the time, that's when people message me. Like, hey, are you like, available yeah, Sunday? on Sunday. It's like, no, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chill at home. Nah, dude, I don't blame you. I wouldn't either. Yeah. I don't care if this, if this is a full-time career for me. I'm not, I probably wouldn't do Sundays either. Just yeah, because. But I'm trying to like kind of do less work and kind of be more at home and, you know, work on other stuff too. Yeah. It kind of, it's, it's, it gets stressful. Like just handling so many messages. Dude, you're a public figure. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, so, you know, like... It, 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 dude, I don't even really have, like, a YouTube. Well, I have a YouTube, but, like, I rarely post anything. I, yeah. Yeah. I, I, it, I, I follow you on when, YouTube. When dude. I do post something, it's just literally, like, it's an unedited video. I don't even know how <laughs> I keep... Oh, that, I came across you when you did the video of adjusting the CMC on the 8th gen. Yeah. That's yeah. how I came across you, and I was like... Yep. That's a popular video. Homie's from Ventura. I know where I might hit him up. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> How hot does your car get when you start doing pulls like that? Like that. When, like when, that? 183. 183. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, that's gonna be fun. You can see how it kind of falls out of boost when I hit third. No, it does, but yeah. it's it, it catches right up though. Yeah. End in the video right here, guys. I just want to say a huge shout out to Emmanuel for giving me the opportunity to drive your 10th Gen SI fully built antigen SI and letting me to experience it how it is hands-on and speaking on that I do want to let you guys know yes I know I didn't push the car I didn't drive it how he did and that's simply because it's not my car it's not something I feel comfortable doing in somebody else's car especially if I barely know the guy so if I can probably push Hector's car easily because he's my homie. Like I actually know him. I can push Victor's car because he's, he's the homie. I actually like, I've driven his car before plenty of times, but driving somebody else's car during these reviews, just want to give you a heads up. I will never give the car 100%. Even if the owner's telling me to do it, I will most likely never do it because it is something that I just don't feel comfortable doing it. I will let them do it and let them take me around, redline it and bang gears. But I'm letting you know right now, I will never do that to somebody else's car. And I know you guys are gonna be like, Tony, you didn't redline it. Tony, you didn't push it. Tony, you didn't even get to experience full 500 horsepower. Look, look, it's very different saying it and seeing this online versus you actually doing it in person. So I respect this guy so much that I will never do anything to his car like that, as well as to everybody in the future and everybody in the past. I respect all builds and I will never redline or push your car to its potential because I do not feel comfortable doing it no matter what people are gonna say. I just wanna let you guys know that because I know you guys are gonna be like, you didn't push it, you didn't do this, you didn't do that. Like, look, it's, it's not my car. Regardless, I had fun, I had so much fun. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was awesome and I really do enjoy doing these kind of videos. I will be doing a lot more soon. If you guys wanna follow Emmanuel on Instagram, there you go, go ahead and give him a follow. If you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, same as same rules apply. Anyways, if you guys are new to the channel, hit subscribe if you guys want and hit the like button, it really does help me out. 
and i'll see you guys in another one stay tuned i got more things coming for my si as well as for the hatch and as well as for my sister miata so i'll see you guys in another video you guys have a good day peace